What's up guys, this is the Roferman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Mexico. So to round off what happened last time, we have been fighting up here near Virginia. And this time under Conrado Mutis has been quite significantly mauled, so he's going to hold back and wait for reinforcements and hopefully wait for this unit of guns to move up. Could fall back, but I don't want to. Um, quickly as I'm on here, let's check on... Oh yes, they're converting you like a beauty. Florida's not really happy. So much so that I don't really want... No, I want a coaching in. I remember why I built it, so I could snipe out some of these uh, priests that might be arising from other areas. So let's... Uh, spend money on it. We've got money to burn at this point. Not burn precisely, but to make measured investments. Remember, yes, but also we've knocked out the Cherokee territory. We are also up here in North America, where we've been able to advance with relative impunity. And no one seems to really have stopped us. So we're just going to keep on keeping on. Probably going to push on to Albany. Well, it looks like the Americans are trying to rebalance northwards, but they have a big problem. They have a force to the north, a force to the south, and a force to the west in the Cherokee Territory, although they can't leave for a long time because of the uh, repression and uh, morale implications um, of the city. So obviously they don't like us very much, and that's fair enough. I think if I move them out... Oh yeah, minus 12, so they're going to be there for a while. Unless I recruit some... Actually, what might be an idea is to go down here... Actually, let's take my rake, dump them in Williamsburg. Let's start moving them up and using some of them. Let's move you up into Niagara. Let's upgrade you. Your infrastructure being upgraded. Good, good, good. You're being replenished as much as you can. Um, yes, unless I, you go down here to Florida and recruit some... What's cheaper, actually? Native mercenaries. 688, 240... 511, 117. Militia's still the cheapest. Yeah, frontiersmen are cheaper, but I'm pretty sure militia are meant to be still quite effective when it comes to... Oh, the population's already run out in Florida. 100 people. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, does Florida have a second port? It's got Ticamonista and... No, just the one port. Okay, so... Not going to be getting many armies out of them anytime soon. And uh, then up here I've got my navy blockading the American fleet in here. An old American fleet. One single ship. Ernest Paget, but a second rate nonetheless. To be honest, what I may as well do is this navy. Are you at max capacity? One more ship. Yeah, good. It's a second. So I know I've got the capacity to build solid fl uh, fleets of first rate, but it's not very really thematically true. There would be a balance... Probably even not like this, probably more thirds and less firsts, but you know, got to have some some balance of fun. So got this fleet down here. To be honest, I might send these, oh, the one American ship, 24 pound frigate. Ooh, you're definitely too expensive to be spent doing this job. So you garrison here for now. My intention will be to take this militia unit, this infantry unit, and have him be picked up by probably this army in Martinique. Just to strengthen them a bit. Naval hospitals. It's oh, the hell, let's recruit. So let's get one first rate. Three other first rates. Two heavy firsts. And then let's start building uh, seconds to round the fleet out. Good, that spent our money a bit. 61,000 a turn. The trading economy. Isn't it wonderful? Well, yes, until someone um, tries to blockade it. So you've got Britain, Mexico, somewhere I've got to go secure Yankton just for completionism. Northwest Territories are still intact. I've still got Madrid and Spain with this army just holding. Let's see if Prussia can wrangle off some amphibious assault. Don't like all these fleets hanging out here by Austria. I am waiting for them to attack me. It's probably... Well, if they do attack me, then the first thing to do will probably be to... Um, destroy all my destroy all the infrastructure in Spain. Oh, well, no, either destroy it and let it be taken, or I trade it away for to Britain for something useful. Maybe colonies in India, maybe Calcutta. I did trade away Ceylon for peace with Austria before. 
But I think we're going to have a strong enough navy to keep them away at arm's length so that they can't really get a foothold. Well, they might get a temporary one, but I think we'll be more than capable of taking it out. So all our, all our research is going well. New Haven, you can't really be... You can't be upgraded even more. Only if you start generating priests. No, priests, gentlemen. But research is going well. Yeah, let's hit end turn. Let's see what happens, because we know the Americans are rebalancing to try to deal with all our threats. And there are many. We're coming in from the north, we're coming in from the south, they're coming in from the west. They are pressed on all fronts. Just think how knacker they'd be if we start doing some naval invasions. By the looks of it, they're pulling out of Albany. Not Albany, Virginia, sorry. They're going to go for a... Well, it looks like they want to, looks like they want to try and capture back um, Boston. But I don't think it's going to work. They get their fleet pulled out, so I don't know where it's going to go. Yeah, oh, yeah, nice little bit of raiding. Fair enough. Can't blame the eye when it does little tricks like that. Because, uh, while it's frustrating, it's exactly what the eye should be doing. Generally, I should be doing more, but I don't really raid, per se. I just conquer. That's what I do. I don't do, uh, you know, individual raids, and am I going to get this, and am I going to get that? No, I go in and just take it all for me. So they are preparing for an invasion. They're not sailing anywhere yet, so I've got time. But I've got a very sneaking, horrible suspicion they're going to come right at me. I really need Prussia and Austria to go to war, but I don't know how I'm going to make them do it. Without me, you know, being at war with one of them. Or if Russia piped up. If Russia did that, then all of their troops would scoot eastwards. That would be useful. But many, many, many Austrian stacks. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. So, is this my cavalry? It is my cavalry. Will you chase down Norman Jennings? Oh, that's drawn in that secondary force. Withdraw. And you were going to go join them. Good, let's construct a new one of these. Let's start moving my militia up. New port emerges in Texas. There's no point getting a trade port because you've got to trade either side of you to export your um, tobacco, so I may as well... I don't know. Population is half percent. It's not too bad. Agriculture is doing well. Do we just go for a local fishery? Trade port makes me more money. No, a fishery seems more thematic. For a previous um, Native American territory, let's go for something more, more natural. Nothing's as natural like farm fishing, alright boys? There we go, so these guys are all ready to rock and roll. Lay siege to Williamsburg for now. Move up my artillery. Postpone it, Megs, I want to do some investing. So I've got my naval hospital up here. Don't recruit anything yet. Oh, actually, I do have something I can recruit you with. Or do spend some money on you. So you're done, you're done. Large cotton plantation, cotton warehouse. Steam pump mines for now. Craft workshop. See, you guys are going to love it when I start bringing actual wealth. Wealth and industry. Plus four. Plus 20, minus 27. <laughs> Some roads. Weaver's Cottage. Fortification in Maine. Um, which looks like I might need it. So let's pull some... Unit of Guns. Four units of infantry, two of those and one of those. And a Grenadier. Pull them back to Maine. Just to make sure there's no easy targets for them to try and nab. And let's recruit a general. Because this is going to provide fuel to have two separate armies on the go. So let's recruit two units of Fusileros to make it seem thematically cool. Conscripts, Grenadiers, Fusileros. Let's just get some bog standard line. You can't really do anything yet. 
Oh, the Florida Militia is on the go. Let's move up the Charleston Militia. Oh, she's moving this way. Get to help hoover up some of these traitors. Well, not traitors, people, I'm sure. Oh, God, that's a nice big army. This is why you do scouting, kids. Because of marines, mercenaries, household cavalry, and some artillery, with a few bits of artillery on the outside. I could grab Annapolis as the quick as the quick win, maybe. If I took them all, yeah, knocked off my guns, I'd take Annapolis, but I'd leave that exposed with these guys behind the lines, and no, it's just not worth doing. Ooh, first straight ship of the line, Pegasus. So let's do this. Then definitely want to fight this battle to do a little cheeky uh, capture. This one there I got up here. Fourth rate. To be honest, I might want to send to start recruiting some trade ships. Because I've got some trade, I'd rather have some more. So I've gone through this before, and these are pirates that steal things. Don't want to build war galleons. Mm, brigs, what end up? Was it a brig? Or was it a, I, can, I can never remember what it is I decided that I would recruit in place of trade ships. Let's recruit brigs. Build some brigs. Good. Well, let's take this. Yeah, see this on the comrade attack. That's not really going to be an interesting battle. Sad to say. Fortify. I think it feels like a very Mexican slash Spanish thing to do. To fortify my settlements as I capture them. Let's run. Curiosier is out of here. I'm going to fight it just because I want to make sure I capture it without losing any of my ships. Um, so this should be pretty... Effectively, I don't care how much damage I take. I just want to sail over there. Blow the mats down and take it for my own. So I want my... There we go. This time around the I error was on my fault, was on my side. I clicked on my second monitor and it minimised it and stopped the recording. Okay, so here we are. I was on 12 minutes-ish, I think, so... Ships it's lying upwind of the enemy are said to hold... Quiet, you! Yep, yeah, I'm more or less just... I'm just doing this. I haven't got a Mexican first rate called America. Because we are the true Americans now. Oh, and they're sailing into the wind. In which case, I might just sail real close to you. But yeah. So, with the what, so why I felt reluctant to auto-resolve this is because this seems like a very easy way for the AI just to go, Oh no, you sent your third rates in, and because the AI was smart. They sank three of them. I'm like, oh great. So to capture one first trait, I've lost three of my ships. Whereas if I manually do it, I will be able to conclusively capture their ships. And sure, um, some of my ships will get damaged just in broadsides. Just three broadsides. Um, but, you know, I'll be firing one off a lot quicker. Oh, these are Spanish based ones. They got the red. Well, Spanish based, but they got the Spanish inheritance. They got the red. Uh, Red decks. It's my first rates, and the second rates I've got the more conventional yellow. Is that my admiral? That's Achilles. That my heavy first rate. No, it's another first rate. Achilles first rate ship of the line red. Admiral's flagship first rate is a yellow one, so I presume this one doesn't get the same treatment. Oh well. Anyway, I've been jabbering on too long. Let's just let them get closer. Yeah, I've played this game a bit too often now for uh, 
to want to be willingly burned by the AI in a manner that I've been burned in so many ways before, even when it's as one-sided as this. The uh, the system, whatever the whatever Creative Assembly designed to figure out who would win the battle or not, can just really screw you over for no reason, no real reason other than just to be a, a pain in the backside. And I could do. Um, round shot and smash into the hull to cause it to rout and surrender well, to be honest I may as well do that actually because it's not, she's not exactly manoeuvring is she if she was scooting around I'd like to dismount which was a lot, I do like dismasting ships <laughs> nah let's do let's just do round shot for now, if she starts getting I might even cut across her like this No, actually, if we cut across her there, I'm sailing into the wind fractionally, or across the wind, or however you sailing types like to put it. But if I scoot down along, firing off some shots, chain shot maybe, because he's knocked a hole in one of my masts, one of my um, sails, I should say. There we go. Let's close with it. Pre-prepare my broadsides. Or at least the first few. Oh, oh. For a minute I thought Mexico was the name of the ship. So San Pascual. But yes, let's watch the mighty USS Pegasus perish in a storm of hellfire. Although she's probably going to cause a lot of damage to this guy. But the problem, but the question is, my guys, my ships will come into position faster than she can reload. Then fire. Oh god, I was holding onto the wrong ship. <laughs> this ship back here. Okay, so you are going to have a broadside of chain. Pivot immediately. Because that is going to be a beautiful target. There you go, let's pivot you back into position. Let's have you sail this way. She's starting to move, starting to engage. Firing on both sides. Fire! Let's get this beastie to do round shot as well. Let's get, try to get you to sail in her way to slow her down. Fire off the broadside just in case I screw it up and accidentally hit one of my own ships. Yeah, I've accepted a bit of friendly fire from that, but I'll take it. So if I can kill the Admiral, boom! That's another one. It's a bit of the dust. Drop anchor, round shot. And that goes her rear mist as well. Beautiful. I'm always slightly concerned of that gut shot that causes a uh, it causes a magazine explosion. Oh god, still firing chain shot. Now again, here comes Nostra Senora de Bogona. You have to surrender, Americana. Lovely, lovely, delicious captured American ship. 
<laughs> Probably a bit longer than I wanted to. It's stuff like this, so it's doing things like that that really help gain to grow your navy at the start of the match or start of the campaign. So you go, right now, I could I could spend money, uh, you know, building all these ships, but instead I'm going to actually just steal them. You know, much march them on to Annapolis. Victory, but at what cost? Holy moly. Yeah, they're unhappy, but not when I get them rid of them. Not when I free them up from tax. Bit reckless. I lost more troops there than I thought I, than I would otherwise have liked. Build a governor's barracks. Can't build walls. Let's cancel walls on here. Let's build walls up here. Getting guns into position. Cool. Then let's... I don't want to leave money on the table and not spend it. Doesn't mean I could buy things. I could, you know, buy research and stuff like that. But my research is going nicely. I've got lots of money. To be honest, let's do an infrastructure check. Infrastructure is a very good way to soak up lots of money fast. Because these high tier roads add up. But it looks like I've done pretty good at keeping everything ah just when i say that of course i didn't check my new colony so let's go to you so what have you got nothing except nine masters works and you're gonna grow into no that's it cool all right let's hit n10 let's see how the americanas respond sorry quebec you're going down too at some point oh if they would try to attack that would be brilliant Oh. oh no, they snuck through my lines. I forgot about them. Completely and utterly forgot. So it looks like I'm going to pull my cancel building in New York. I think it's New York. <sighs> cancel building in New York. Cancel the walls. Get that money back. And bring back in garrison in Albany, I suppose. No, Virginia. Garrison, Virginia. Is the Barbary States going to Barbary? They've not been taken over yet. Ooh, is France... I thought for a second... No. <laughs> I thought for a second France rebelled and that the uh, the region had changed colour. <laughs> yeah, if... If the Austrians declare on me, I will give Madrid to the British... And I'll try and exchange it for Bengal. Because right now I've, I've got money burning a hole in my pocket. Which isn't something you normally see. And that means, you know, the times are ripe for in expansion in India. No. Stop asking for my territories, people. You're not going to get them. It also doesn't mean I forgive them to Britain. I'll probably fortify Lisbon a little bit. Like my, my Madrid garrison will fall back to Lisbon. There is unused land okay, break. For farming in this region. Building farms here will help the population to grow Just over a second. Time. Let's that run you up to it. here. Okay, good old investment stuff. New town, Medellin and New Granada. Craft workshops. San Jose de David in Panama. You can also get craft workshops, more industry. Chop them up. Hmm, they fled, but I don't know if they'll run for. Oh, they do run faster than my cavalry. I can repair you. Grade the cotton plantation. Hmm. I think I move them down this way to clear this stack up and then push into Niagara. And then didn't finish all my construction stuff. Ten into farms. Which cotton plantation? Great estates. Good stuff. Very good stuff. Ordnance board in Boston, so let's keep it upgrading so I don't get hamstrung by artillery. 
Boston's got walls. Trinidad's got a new governor building, and so does the Windward Islands. Cool. So let's move. So what have you got? You've got a mixed uh, mixed cavalry. I might have to let them have it. Because this army's not in a good spot yet. And it's not really in a position to get more men. Can I move you out yet? What if I give you these three elite units of militia and these two units of militia? Two? Recruit a bowman. That's enough time. You hightail it to here. Take a couple of turns, but they'll get there in time. You're ready to rock and roll. Got lots of money, so... This fleet, the Louis Valdez. Where have I got my trade zones? Straight to Madagascar, East Indies. No, wait. Let's check the East Indies first. Have I got anyone up there? Have I got anyone there in theatre? I've got one stack. Aha! The Russians. It's payback time now. So let's get them off to the East Indies Theatre to clear out the Russians. Then I probably want... Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I've cancelled building there. So I'm probably going to want to... Where was I building my other navy? Down here, I think. Yeah, second, second, second. Second, second, second. Heavy first. Third. So I want to pump out fleets so that I'm able to, you know, interfere in the trade regions. To be honest, I might send them out as well. My other trade region is the Straits of Madagascar, so let's send you out to the Straits of Madagascar. So I want to be able to get out to a bit of mischief, and then if I need to bring anyone back, I can send a... Uh... Oh, let's do that. I can send a, uh, a fleet to replace them on station. That's my ideal position. So I've got them... Oh no, you're not being recruited by anyone. Let's get an Admiral's flagship, two heavies. No, oh, some first rates. But yes, I want to have navies positions such that I can you know, mess around in the trade theatres and not worry. Cool, 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 cool. Tax still going okay. You're moving up. Cool. Sit and turn. <laughs> I'm surprised. Oh, they run, they, the, the American army ran out of movement points to interfere with my fleet. What are the Quebecians doing? Where are they going to land? Oh, they're going to go for Jamaica again. Uh-oh. For a minute there, I thought they were... Yeah, I knew. I expected that was going to happen. Chop. Defeat. Because my army is very weak, I'm very, very cagey about what they plan to do. They've got a couple of key concentrations of troops. Well, there you go. They've left the Boston frontier exposed enough that I can group my garrisons and send them. Oh, Britain, you've got to. Ooh. So they've sent a navy, an army, sorry, from the Indian theatre to a transport region. So where are they going? To be honest, if if the Prussians and the Austrians aren't allied, oh god, look at all those stacks, they're going to spread like a disease. If the Prussians and the Austrians aren't allied, then does that mean I could join Britain's war against the Prussians, capture Copenhagen, and start to weaken a key enemy of Britain. Maybe. Hmm. Interesting possibilities. Region, yeah, that's fair enough. Provenance. Yeah, fair enough. Let's upgrade you. 
Um, some great things military commerce barracks. Things have got better. Can't recruit infantry for reasons best known to the game. Move them up. Good. Regions have got better. Lost a region. That's fair enough. Christie gets this. Cool. Okay. So we'll, or, or could I just send this army? Hmm. Let's so buff them up with some guns. Do, do I have any cavalry? I can recruit some household cavalry, but I want to kind of push now because they're vulnerable. So I think I'm going to push. Okay, let's leave a couple of guys behind. Let's move you up here. Let's put steal some of this guy's infantry. Put it in Boston. Garrison the artillery back inside Boston. Recruit a general. And let's mash out some line. And you guys can't really mash out anything because they're just a small region. They get all of the brigs. Workers on strike, fair enough, but you will not riot. Screw some broad brigs. Cool. You can't really move, so just stay there. It'd be a shame if I lost you, but, you know, it happens. Let's move up this guy to fill up a block. Let's move this guy up to hit Niagara. Looking at the timer, though, I think we've reached the end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we will see you next time in my next fight against Niagara.